Hey guys, I'm Mark HD here with episode 12 of our Road to Silverware. We head into the semi-final match of the Reserves Championship Tournament against this guy who has an almost complete um, Seattle Sounders team with the exception of his center forward. I don't know that guy's name, I can't recall, but I do know the striker um, for sure, and that is Eto. So, uh, not very good chemistry for him. He has a lot of players... Um, that are out of formation and not only are they out of formation they're not even in a similar formation so they all have the red red formation box which is bad for him but uh, great for me so right here in the beginning of the game we give the ball to Kelvin who goes on a nice little individual run right here and uh, almost leads to a goal gets past these two defenders right here cuts inside finds Guillerme with a nice little through ball right here and uh, can't finish he is uh, my bronze center attacking mid, so he doesn't have the best shot in the world, but um, anywhere but the middle, of anywhere but right at the keeper uh, would have worked. But uh, Neto Brolo and Ryder right here with a nice little, um, nice little one twos right here. Brolo cuts it back inside and uh, shoots it, and Ryder manages to get in front of that center back, and uh, before he can clear it to win that header. So. Uh, I'm not really proud of that goal. It's not an amazing goal. It's not the best goal I've scored in my life. But uh, but I'm happy to go up and get a one goal lead right here in the uh, 33rd minute. So um, this guy didn't have too many chances in this game. Um, and very few in the second half. But we managed to get our second goal right here. Nice passing right here. Um, Guillermo finds Neto Barola who just turns away from the defender. And with that pace, no one's ever going to catch up to him. And... Uh, to me, guys, I think the near post shot is very overpowered in this game. It's much like the finesse shot of FIFA 12, but I'll get back to that later. Here's the uh, halftime stats. As you can see, he had very few chances, and uh, whereas I had many, and I could have um, had more than two goals, but he managed to pick one right, pick one up right here with uh, Jose Cayon. Um, in the 51st minute, he swings, swings in a nice little cross right here and picks up a nice diving header. Um, so he draws back one in the 51st minute, and um, we managed to pull one back right here. Um, nice run by Martino, cuts it back in, Neto Barola, and look at this for a finish from Guillerme. Nice, beautiful volley right there from Guillerme. That is a bronze player, and uh, that is a great finish. You can't ask anything more from a bronze player. Um, but that was a very nice pass by Neto Barola as well, as you can see. Perfectly weighted pass, and Guillerme finishes it clinically. Um, and we managed to pick one up right off the kickoff <clears throat> to give us that 4-1 lead. Um, finds Neto Barola, and he was playing me way off. He gave me at least 10 yards of space, and you never want to do that, especially if your opponent is right inside your box. Uh, so I take advantage of that right there, take advantage of that chance, and uh, finish nicely with Neto Barola right there. As you can see, look at that, look how far he was off um, uh, playing defense off of me. So we managed to go 4-1 up right here in the 65th minute. As I was saying, the uh, near post shot is very overpowered in this game. It's uh, basically the finesse shot of FIFA 12. Um, all you got to do is strike it hard to the near post, and more, most likely than not, the keeper is not going to have a chance. Um, especially if you're inside the box. And uh, here's a great finish here from Kelvin. Uh, that's one of the most important things I look for in a right mid or a right winger is uh, they're, if they're left-footed so they can cut inside right there and finish far post. But that was a great pass by Martino um, to find Kelvin in the box. We managed to pick up another one right here and add to our 5-1 lead with uh, a nice little run right here from Barola. Threw ball right here to Bruno Turco, and this was supposed to be a Robana, but uh, it didn't come out as I wanted. But uh, Ryder steals Bruno's goal that was easily going into the back of the net, and uh, I was trying to do a Robana right there, Robana chip and over the keeper, but uh, he just used it, uh, just a normal chip. But a beautiful finish nonetheless. So we managed to take this semifinal match in the Reserve Championship Tournament 6-1, guys. This has been episode 12. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, the next episode, episode 13, will be up very shortly as uh, I haven't been uploading that many videos uh, in the past two days. So hopefully we can pick up that final match, get the victory, and uh, 
we can get that premium silver pack in the 1500 coins as well. So make sure you guys turn in for that. All right, until next time, catch you guys later.